Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2023 Ford Bronco Outer Banks. This is the four-door model. It has a 2.3 liter inline four-cylinder engine and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front, we are gonna have the fully LED headlight and fog light package, blacked out Bronco grille, front-facing camera right here. This guy does have the 360-degree camera system. You have your parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper as well as your tow recovery hooks. Coming around to the side, we have your color matched fender flares, black and machined 17 inch wheel, I believe. This is a Bridgestone Dueler, and I can't quite find the tire size off the uh, sidewall real quick. I believe it's a 17 inch wheel. There's your Outer Banks badging, color matched mirror caps. There's your mirror mounted camera, black running boards, this guy does have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Up top, we got the hard top in the carbonized gray. LED tail lights. Parking sensors, again, integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Full-size spare with your backup camera right here. Passive entry right there. Capless fuel fill port with your Bronco Easter egg right there. This guy does have keyless entry. It looks really, really nice. Really nice looking Bronco. Let's take a closer look at the interior and get out of the rain. Apologize for the lighting in here. It is kind of a dreary day out and I got all the map lights on. Um, so just bear with me. Starting off over here, we have your LED mirror lights, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, dimmer switch for your instrument cluster, and then under that we have an electronic parking brake. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your speedometer on the left and a pretty big LCD screen in the middle. Up top on the dashboard, we have your B&O Premium Audio Group. Really nice storage tray right here as well as a USB and USB Type-C outlet right there to keep your devices charged. Right here is an accessory point. If you have a GoPro, you can put it here. Right here we have a little storage tray which is perfect for the key fob. This is your trail turn button which makes turning on a dime very easy. Traction control off, hazard light button. Massive touchscreen display. I believe this it has wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Navigation, as you can see. You have also have your feature app right here. This does have the card system, so you can have your apps running and then your uh, audio on the side, or you can have navigation here uh, or vice versa. Very, very cool. It does have a, a wireless 4G LTE connection. Push button start. All the physical buttons for the radio itself are gonna be right there. Under that, you have your dual zone climate control with your heated seat and heated captain shares buttons. Underneath that, you have a media hub with USB and USB type C, as well as a wireless charging mat. Again, I do apologize for the lack of lighting in here. Grab handle right here for the passenger. Shifter with manual plus minus. GOAT, go over anything or go over all terrain mode. You turn this dial and then it scrolls up here on the uh, LCD display. Uh, let's turn it to something where it doesn't go into four wheel drive. Let's put it in eco. Then we have your push button transfer case, two high, four low, four high. And then we have your trail control button right here, which is pretty much cruise control, but at very slow off-road speeds. All of your window controls are gonna be here. The, uh, it looks like all four of them are automatic up and down. Then your mirror controls are gonna be right there. Two cup holders, storage tray or storage um, compartment slash armrest. Really nice two-tone gray and blue Bronco seats. Really, really nice seats actually. Glove box is gonna be right here. Coming up to the vanity, it's gonna be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity is gonna have a three-door universal garage remote. Right here we have glass storage, but it is taped shut because this vehicle just got delivered. Then we have all the master controls for your LED dome map lighting. And then we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I really do like the interior of the Bronco. I think it's laid out in a very uh, user-friendly orientation. Um, tons and tons of buttons. I did kind of neglect to go over the buttons, but we have all your cruise control buttons, lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control buttons here, as well as some steering wheel mounted audio controls. And then over here we have the control buttons for the center LCD display. And then we have some more um, steering wheel mounted audio controls. So 
overall, I really do like the interior of this vehicle. Um, I think for me though, as, as a passenger, it definitely is uh, worth sitting in the back and I will go over why that is when we take a look at the back seats. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much leg room we have. So I don't have a crazy amount of leg room back here, but uh, I'd say about three to four inches. We do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. The window controls are gonna be right here. Again, lack of lighting, I'm sorry. Looks like you have a USB and USB type C and then a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet or 20 amp power outlet right there. This center seat does have a small armrest slash cup holder. You probably can't even really see that. But the reason I like the back seats in the Bronco is because unlike the competition, there is no massive cross member at the B pillar. Um, there's usually a cross member here with speakers and then lights on it. Uh, you have full visibility in the back. So when the roof is off, um, you're not gonna have anything obstructing your vision. It's actually really, really cool. I love the way Ford was able to design this. Um, the four door can actually store all the doors in the back, uh, which is pretty cool. All of them are protected by this little spring loaded rubber gasket and there's a little lift point on the bottom of each of the four doors. So doing it yourself is a little bit easier. Let's take a look and see how much cargo space we have. So getting access to the trunk is as easy as just pulling on this handle right here. It is a little bit assisted. It does have a strut right there. And then you just pull on the glass. We do not have a load flat floor, but these seats do fold uh, almost flat. There is a little bit of a lip right there, as you can see. On the passenger side, we have a LED cargo lamp and a 12 volt outlet. And then underneath here, we have a little bit of storage as well as your spare tire stuff. So pretty cool. Uh, decent amount of space in the four door. And like I said, you can opt to get the four door with the, uh, the door holders, which is pretty cool. To close it, you just simply reverse the process, slam this shut, and you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window so sticker. I'll go over the window sticker because it is raining and there is some dark tint on the glass. Uh, this is a 2023 Bronco Outer Banks 5 passenger with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost and a 10 speed auto. Standard equipment's right here. Base price is going to be $44,445. You have a decent amount of optional equipment, including the 314A group for a total MSRP of $52,545. Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 20 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 20 miles per gallon. I wanna give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2023 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, if you uh, let Cheryl know you saw the video, she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more walkthroughs, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.